Hi guys, it's Tracy, and today I'm back with another round of empties. I don't, I, I just keep accumulating them. I've been doing such a good job of like not buying stuff and just using stuff that I have that's like half full and like trying to just move stuff out. I went through all of my hair products and I divided them up into like mousses, creams, gels, like all kinds of hair product, you know, like leave-in conditioners. I don't like have a stockpile really of shampoos and conditioners, but mostly hair products because of my daughter. She's a stylist, if you don't know. And yes, my hair needs to be retouched, but you know, we have to work with the grays and the, and the roots showing. But I've been doing a really good job of trying to use up the product that I have that's like already like either half full or half empty and I've when I organized in my bathroom all of the hair products I'm on a no hair product buy unless I am absolutely out of something I'm not buying hair products this year so don't let me buy hair products and I'm also not buying any more mascaras I I I, I went through all of my backups last night and I probably have enough mascara to last me like two years. So no hair products, no mascara. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy the video. If you're a returning watcher, welcome back. Please make sure to give the video a thumbs up. It really does help my channel and I would love to see my channel grow a little bit this year. That would make me really happy. So, uh, yeah, the kids are all here. There's Bambi <laughs> and Lily is hiding under a blanket. And my daughter got me a weighted blanket for Christmas. One of the things that she got me and I didn't think I was going to like it because my sister had bought one and she was like, oh my God, I hated that thing. It made me feel like I was going to suffocate. I had to return it. It was horrible. And then like one of my gifts was I picked it up and I was like, oh my God, like what is this? And I opened it up and I'm just like, oh, okay. And I was thinking, oh no, I'm not going to like it. And it's 18 pounds. Let me see if I can show you. Oh. It has a cover on it. Like a, you, you can unzip the cover. And then the blanket is like quilted like. And then you have to tie the you have to flip the cover inside out and then tie it everywhere or else it won't stay inside the cover because of the weight. So that was kind of a hassle to do. And um, like, I didn't think I was going to like it and I love it. It feels like someone's like hugging you and it just, it, I don't know, it just feels really good. And like with me and pain and stuff, I like, try to get it to where it's like on my back and it actually feels really good so I was really surprised and it was a really awesome gift to receive so nice gift so if you haven't tried a weighted blanket you may want to try one because I didn't think I would like it I would have never bought that for myself because of my sister and I think the one my sister got was heavier and my sister is always hot. She has heart problems. So she's always hot. And then I was thinking, well, I could see where she wouldn't like it because like you get it on you and it's like, oh. but I don't know how it would be in the summertime. Cause I'm like, oh man, what happens in the summertime? I'm not going to have a, my weighted blanket or I'm going to be sweating. So I don't know. We'll have to see. But if you have one and you've been using one for a while, let me know what you think about it. Cause I'm loving it so far and I've had it for like a week. So anyway, Mr. is outside my door whining to come in, but he's being a brat today. So we're going to leave him out there. So let's get started with the empties. First up here is this, I don't even know how to say it. Le Petit Marseille, maybe. This is their white peach and nectarine. Um, this is a moisturizing body wash and it smells 
divine. It smells so good. When I first got this, it was on clearance at Walgreens and I smelled it and I was like, oh my God, it smells so good. So I bought two of them and I think I still have another one of these, but it smells so good and it lathers up really nice and it's just, it feels, your skin feels so soft once you get it off. And I thought they were discontinuing it, but they're not. It's um, available at Target. So if you see it in Target, you could pick it up there. And it's not like super expensive because when I saw it at Target, I was like, that's almost what I paid for it at Walgreens on clearance. So, you know, Walgreens is always more expensive, but I really enjoy it. So that's a good one. And then we have a bunch of candles because I've been going candle crazy here. So first up here, we have the Winter Blue Sky. This one smelled really, really nice. It has um, peppermint and eucalyptus oils with notes of oak and cedar wood. Smells really good. And then, uh, oh, and this is from Bath & Body Works. And this one is from Bath & Body Works. This is the White Barn brand. And this one was called Winter. And this one is White Woods, Pine Needles, Sparkling Clementine, and Spiced Clove. Smelled really good. I would rebuy both of these. And then this one, Fresh Sparkling Snow. This also smelled really, really good. This says it's made with grapefruit and orange essential oils with note of melon, icy melon, and winter pine. So these ones all smelled really good. And this one, Marshmallow Fireside. This is my all-time favorite candle by them. Love it. This is made with cedar wood and Palo Santo essential oils and notes of toasted marshmallow and vanilla. This one's really good. Love the scent of that one. And I had, I forgot, I, I had like a bigger candle. It's by Sand and Fog. It was from like Marshalls or TJ Maxx. My daughter had given it to me. It's like a larger jar. It's probably like, I don't know, the size of like maybe two of these jars. And I did a DIY project, but it's in my bathroom. I put, um, I took the labels off of it and I wrapped it and used hot glue to glue like the sparkle, like the diamond sparkle stuff you can buy on the rolls. I wrapped it each, you know, wrapped around and I made a makeup brush container. So I have, uh, my, all my eye brushes are in this like super sparkly container now and I reused a candle jar. So I thought that was cool. Okay. One thing of makeup wipes. These are by Bolero. These are the orange blossom and lavender facial wipes. They're okay. I'm not really buying makeup wipes anymore, so I'm trying to use up what I have because I've been using the bamboo cotton rounds and those are really great. Okay, written into some hair products that I found and just decided to keep moving through. This is by Schwarzkopf and this is their Bonicure. This is their Moisture Kick Spray Conditioner. And it's just like a leave-in conditioner. And I really like this one. It was pretty nice. So I would buy it again when I'm not on a no hair buy. And then this one is by, I don't even know. Is this Mara, Mara Lua? My daughter had got this at like a hair show or something. And this is a rare oil styling extending primer. And it says it conditions, protects, extends, revitalizes, and does all this magical stuff. It was a pretty small bottle. And I just used it as like a leave-in conditioner. And then I put the hair product that I use in my hair. Like I didn't even put hair product in my hair today. It's just kind of wet and I just, I'm not going anywhere. So I'm like, eh, I don't need to waste any hair product. And then this one is by the Sexy Hairline. This is their Healthy Sexy Hair, Mimosa Flower Extract and Moonstones. And this is a Tri Wheat Leave-In Conditioner. This one was really nice. You can see this one was a tester. <laughs> Somehow my daughter got it when she was using uh, when she was still working at Cosmoprof, I think. And then this one says it's up to 90% better detangling. 
and it works as a really nice leave-in conditioner. I don't comb my hair once I get out of the shower, so I don't know about the detangling because I brush my hair with a wet brush when I get into the shower and then I wash it and I use a wide tooth comb to comb my conditioner through and then I rinse it out, use my hair towel thingy and then I don't like comb it once once it's like once I get out of the shower like that's a, like a, a no-no like with curly hair like don't comb it once you get out because that will make it frizzier so I just spray my leave-in conditioner put my hair products and do my scrunchy scrunchy thing and then leave it but this one was a nice one too so if you're looking for one that detangles it says it detangles very well mister stop it he's clawing at the door i finished up this hemp's fresh coconut and watermelon um, body lotion this one was really nice smells good this was um a gift that just showed up at my door one day that my daughter had sent me so smells good i like the hemp's brand and i would reuse it rebuy it again for sure i've gotten a lot better at using up my body lotions too because before I would just have it in my room beside my bed or whatever now I keep them in my bathroom and every time I get out of the shower I lather myself with lotion so it's been really good for my skin it my I've noticed that my skin you know feels softer and stuff so I've gotten really good at doing that I have a thing of my Citricol vitamins which are very exciting and then I have two bottles of the Biosil Hair, Skin, and Nail Vitamin I've been taking. And I, I don't know what to tell you. My nails have gotten a lot better, but I think it's from the stuff that I've been polishing onto my nails. I'll have to put it in a favorites video and tell you about it. But like you can see my thumbs, they're not like cracked and ripped anymore. And it's been amazing because they don't hurt. So I'll have to get that and put it in my next favorites video. Okay, next up we have the Sexy Hair brand again. And this is their Vivid Sexy Hair, Vivid Memory. This is for color treated hair. And it's supposed to help your hair color not fade. And it's like a leave-in conditioner. I don't know about not fading, but it was nice as a leave-in conditioner. Then I have this. This was a fail. This is from Soap and Glory and it's their Flake Away Body Polish. And it's gone bad because it does not smell very good at all. And I know I've heard people say that it smells really good. So fail for me on that front. Then I'll have another candle. This is their Winter Candy Apple. This is one my daughter-in-law had bought me. This one smelled really good too. And this one has smaller writing so i can't read what's in it <laughs> made with essential oils but you know it's one that comes out around the holidays and then i have this oh this was that by row tomato serum that we got in a box i mean i used it i i can't tell any difference with stuff i i i just i i don't know if it did anything or not and then I have two of my little hand sanitizers. I have the thing that holds them on my purse. And this one is the scent A Thousand Wishes. This is one of my favorite scents by them. And then this one is Mermaid Life. And I have two mascaras, the Essence Lash Princess Waterproof. And I already have a backup of this one. And then the Kush Mascara by Milk. I this one just didn't really do much for me. I mean, it was okay, but I wouldn't spend 20 some dollars for it. This one on the other hand, the waterproof one is really nice. It doesn't flake too bad. It's hard for me to find a mascara that doesn't flake. So I do like this one a lot. And then uh, let's see some more skincare. I finished this um, we got this in a boxy charm. This is called Grown Alchemist, and it was like a night detox night cream. So I finished this sucker up. I got every bit of it out because it was a super expensive one. 
So it was nice. I would never pay the hundred and some dollars that they say it's worth or that it costs. Um, this is the ordinary niacinamide plus 5% uh, plus zinc. No, niacinamide 10% zinc 5%. I use this every morning and I already have repurchased that. And then I finished up the hourglass brow pencil. This one was really nice. It's one of the super fine ones, but I wouldn't pay hourglass prices for it. But if I got another one, I would for sure use it because it was a nice one. I did enjoy it, but I can't afford to spend that kind of money on a, on, on a, whatever that's called. Oh, what's this? Another ordinary. This is the hyaluronic acid. I already have another one of that as well. Um, let's see. This is the, um, my biotin. I take biotin every day. So, of course, I already have more of that. And then this is one of my most favorite um, moisturizers. This is by Peach Slices, which is also the brand that they sell at Ulta called Peach and Lily. It's by the same company. And this is their Citrus Honey Aqua Glow Hydrating Moisture Gel. And it's really nice. It feels really nice on the skin. It says it has grapefruit, orange, honey extract, and that it will rebalance, soothe, nourish, and plump. And it's for all skin types. And I found this on like a really good deal at this store in a town a few towns over. And it was like $2.99 or $3.99. And I bought like six of them. So I'm set on these for a while. <laughs> And then I have two lip masks. This is the Laneige. This was one of the little minis that came in like a set. And then this is the pink grapefruit. I wouldn't buy the pink grapefruit. I didn't really notice much of a scent with it. I do like the, the line though of the, the Laneige sleeping masks. And then this is Tarte, the Sugar Rush um, lip mask and this one is called peony but it smells like chocolate and i really like this this one was really really nice and i would definitely buy this again so i may have to see i saw this in the boxy pop-up and i was like oh you got a lot of lip stuff you don't need it and now i'm finished with it and i'm like kind of missing it so i may have to find an, a, a good deal of some sort on it couple more hair products. You've seen this one before, the Matrix Total Results 20 Miracle Creator 20 in 1. It's a leave-in conditioner. This is my, my favorite and I really like it. So, highly recommend. And then this is no longer being made, so I no longer have a purple shampoo that I use. This was my last one. It was made, it's, the brand still exists. They just stopped making this. And it's Band de Terre, and this was their Raspberry Plum Color Enhancing Conditioner for Plum Tones. And they had the shampoo and the conditioner. The shampoo was really purple when you put it out. And then the conditioner was kind of a lavender, but I got it at Cosmoprof and I, they stopped making it. So I haven't found another one to replace it. And then this is a hair product. This is called Perfect Repair and it was a hair mask and it was really nice. Um, I had got this in a giveaway that I won. She had sent me a few of them and I really do like that. And then this is CBD Daily Active Spray. This is uh, for pain relief and it really does feel good when you put it like on your back if you have a bad back like I do or your knee. It's a spray one so it's you know a little bit easier to get on but I really like this. My daughter buys it for me and I do have another one and I think the one that she got me this time is like triple action or something. It's like I, th I think it says triple triple something on it. So I really like these. They work really well. And then I had one sheet mask. This was the Glam My Mood Maker Mask. And it was just a face mask. I, I can't tell any 
any difference when I use them. And then this one was the Nug Face Mask Detoxifying Charcoal Oatmeal and Tea Tree Cleanses, Purifies, and Helps to Control Shine. So it's just one of the little pods that you use. So it's nice. I liked it. I didn't like work magic or anything on my face. But I think that's going to do it for this empties. I don't know how I keep having so many empties, but it feels good to finish the stuff and be done with it and then take it to the recycling bin. So I hope that you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and you feel so inclined, I would love it if you would subscribe. Hit the notification bell down below to be notified of new videos. And if you're a returning watcher, thank you so much for coming back and supporting me all of these times for all the videos that you watch and take the time to watch me. <laughs> so thank you so much. Thank you guys all new and old for supporting my channel and I hope that we have a great 2021 and if you made it all the way to the end of the video thank you so much for watching did I tell you what was on my eyes I don't think I did maybe I did I don't know where I thought I was going today but I used this from the boxy Lux this month the hip dot and this is called their C note palette and I got kind of dark and I was like, oh well, I'm not going anywhere. No one's going to see me. And then on my lips, I have a Revlon Bullet Lipstick in the shade called Rise Up Rose. Really nice, kind of rosy nude shade. And that's all I got going on. I hope that you guys all have a, are having a great start to the new year. I'm home, not doing much, so we'll see what happens. But thank you all for watching. I hope you guys all have a beautiful day or night wherever you are. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.